Hello students, welcome to today's session. So in this session, we are going to see about home automation using IoT. So home automation is the automatic control of electronic devices in your home. So these devices are connected to the internet which allows them to control remotely. So home automation can also lead to a greater safety with IoT devices like security cameras and systems. So a home automation system will control lightning, climate, entertainment system and appliances. So it may also include home security such as access control and alarm system. So we are going to see in detail. So here the internet connected smart home services and monitoring. So here the home automation system is a building automation for a home. So smart homes, smart cities, smart environment monitoring and smart agriculture all the uh, examples of IoT applications and services. So summarizing the design approaches to IoT applications for smart homes, smart cities, smart environment monitoring and smart agriculture are illustrated. So home automation enabling on deploying the open hub. So open hub, it is a home automation bus, a Java and open system interconnect. So services based on the open source software development platform. So here the uh, smart home concepts, smart home services, home lightning control and monitoring of appliances, security and intrusion detection, video surveillance, access control and security alerts with Wi-Fi control and monitoring deploying internet and the remote cloud access. So here the architectural view of cloud named magic which is based on IoT platform for the smart home. So here the sensors and actuators manages a smart home with an internet connection. So wired sensors and wireless sensors are incorporated into the security sensors, cameras, thermostats, smart plugs, lights and entertainment systems. So a DYI that is do it yourself sensors and actuators which includes smart plug, motion detector, door or window detector, smoke detector, energy meter interface, electric, gas or water. So and then a remote control which is built in authentication and a smart relay with surveillance camera and wireless hi-fi speakers, QLED lights and electricity utility meter. So here the smart connected home has the following applications which is deployed in the mobile tablets and then IPTV. So mobile tablets and then IPTV and voice over telephony and then video conferencing, video on demand and video surveillance, Wi-Fi and internet. So home security access control and security alerts and then lighting control. So home health care, fire detection or leak detection and then energy efficiency solar panel monitoring and control, temperature monitoring and high voltage AC control and then refrigerator network with maintenance and service centers and automated meter reading. So this architectural view of cloud uh, based IoT platform uh, for a smart home which includes uh, these important things. Okay, So a virtual private network, database and then interactive voice response system and ultra wide band. So here the Intel based intelligent gateway which enables the creation of home automation system offered by service providers for telephony, mobile camera and then uh, cab cable and broadband and security. So open hub that is open a home automation bus which enables the smart home devices that can communicate through home. So it has a companion cloud computing services called my.openhub. So it runs on a Java enabled system. So the thing system which enables the smart home devices which communicate and are controlled via home. So the language use is node.js and uh, it deploys a Raspberry Pi and consisting of software components and network protocols for all the internet connected things at home. So here the uh, these are all the smart home control unit with uh, uh, devices Zigbee wired LAN home automation system and then surveillance camera. So it is connected to these uh, uh, Wi-Fi or GPRS or ultra wide band through virtual private network. So it consisting of cloud platform. So cloud VPN and video network. So it is a 
a database maintenance so cloud server which is using a magic and then a video so here it is uh, it is degree secreted into uh, to video database and uh, logging database so and then a service provide infrastructure uses sms server email server billing and push notification server and interactive voice response system so here the smart home devices deployment and uh, using a here the smart home devices development and deployment using open source software so here the all smart home devices which can communicate using open app that is home automation bus and then developer deploys java and ost that is open service gateway initiative services and then a graphical user interface uh, clients and designed and can be used as a download from the github so ide and then integrated development environment and guidelines bindings for go development is also provided for open app so this is the architectural layers in open app development environment so the it accompanies the cloud platform my.openhab which provides a communication between uh, with the cloud okay so and then uh, my.openhab cloud connector also provides rest representational state transfer and cloud based services and then uh, the operating system version uh, that is uh, android 4.1 onwards and ios 7 onwards which is for iftt and then uh, enable services such as smartphone controls and automation using mobile phones or tablets so open app computing environment is java so graphical user interface that gui clients are designed and can be used as a download from the github so a service in figure which is represent uh, to service capabilities which is called uh, upon when whenever needed okay so the figure which shows the core open hub objects rest services okay so rest services and then user interfaces and as it has repository and base library so open hub add-on objects so these are the add-on objects and then item provided pro protocol bindings and automation uh, logics and event administration services and then libraries so osgi framework services so these framework services configuration administration event administration services declarative services and lock back and then runtime and http services so an open hub deploys event uh, administration service of osg with pub sub mode publish subscribe okay so publish subscribe mode so a stateful repository is for querying and for using a by automation logics so some functions are stateless and do not depend on previous actions so the remaining actions are stateful and dependent on previous chains of actions and state of items in repository is as per the actions so this is the open hub architecture so it has uh, two domains and their higher level services capabilities in the home automation system in architecture reference model so core open hub objects it has a rest service and repository which has base library and then open hub add on objects which is item provider protocol bindings automation logistics user interfaces and libraries so these framework services having configuration administration event administration declarative services lock back and runtime and http services so it deploys a administration service of osg with pubsub mode so and then stateful repository for querying and by using the automation logics so stateful repository it has some functions stateless does not depends on the previous actions and remaining actions stateful depend on previous chains of actions and state of items in repository as per the actions so here the smart home using a open source cloud platform so it accompany cloud platform by my.openhab it provides communication between that with the cloud and my.openhab cloud, cloud connector also provides a rest that is representational state transfer and cloud based services such as ifttt so the cloud based services such as ifttt so it is if then then that service so uh, the cloud based services such as ifttt so if this then that services so here the smart homes services and an open source ifttt 
So here the operating system versions Android 4.1 onwards and iOS 7 onwards for IFTTT. If this, then that service. So it enables the service such as smartphone controls and automation using mobile phones or the tablets. So these are all the design steps, abstraction, reference model, identifying requirements of device and gateway domain and identifying requirements of network subdomain. So reference model has in two domains and then higher level service capabilities in the surveillance system IoT architecture reference model. So it has device and gateway domain and applications and network domain. So this is the data flow diagram and domain architecture reference model for home automation system. So it has a user interfaces, protocol bindings, item providers. So these are all comes under device and gateway domain. So you have the control of home devices, uh, smart lights, proximity sensors, institution sensors and appliances. So which is connected to the user interface through and then uh, it is using the uh, collecting the data and the event bus and then event message routers. So open system, gateway interconnect and then uh, open hub using that home automation bus. So it is connected to the applications and network layer. So here the remote control of internet connected home devices is applicable. So using that my.openamp.org. So we are processing the events, home events and intrusion uh, data files. So IFTTT. So here the analytics takes place, applications and services using the end user application with the Android or iOS or email or social web and then a set of web services. So triggers and actions takes place. So uh, device and gateway domain capabilities. So here the uh, assuming that uh, JL lightning devices each with the proximity sensors and automation logic provisioning that uh, if no change found in proximity due to presence of persons then the devices will be switched off. So assume K that is uh, intrusion sensors and uh, eye appliances. So an automation logic. So provisioning that on intrusion or communicate triggers are to a local or remote web service. So here communicate using the configuration setting at the configuration administration of OSCI framework. So here and application and network domain capabilities, it deploys applications and services uh, and having a high level capabilities. So open hub services, so it is an integration hub between the uh, devices and bindings between different protocols used for networking the home devices using a OSGI and HTTP service. So usually just one instant of open have run on a some central coordinator or a computer at the home. So event administration service of OSGI service is used for remote service. So several distributed open have instance can connect and deploy the event bus. So the event bus is the base of service of open have. So another example of event is status update. So which informs about the status change of some item or a device. For example, in response to a command. So the open have as an event bus, or the bus is asynchronous. So the event bus refers to a communication bus for all protocol bindings. So the bindings which links to the hardware, the event bus is the base service of open have. So Example of the event is a command which triggers an action or a state of change of some item or a device. So another example of event is status update which informs about a status change of some item or a device. So for example in response to a command. So uh, device uh, hardware design and components. So here the uh, 24 is to 7 active digital video cameras for intrusion detection and number of spatially distributed embedded proximity sensors and home premises sensors. So data processing for detection of suspicious activities, video processing and filtering hardware. So devices software design components. So here are the software design modules. So here are the software design modules at the device domain or uh, software components for embedded device and then distributed proximity sensors, data processing, filtering and extraction of the events. So communication on the events and media serve a great way for the communication of certain events. So code development environment that is development debugging and deployment that is using IDE and then OSCA open uh, sources gateway. So requirements of uh, network subdomain. So here the network hardware and software design components are Wi-Fi Max and Wi-Fi. So here the requirements of network subdomain that is network hardware and software design components for 
Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi Max access network. So core IP network and then server. So software design model uh, components or network management functions to ensure secure communication network between the device and gateway domain and application search services. So open app cloud connector which connects the local open app runtime to a remote open app cloud such as my.openhab instant from open app foundation. So the design implementation of device and gateway domain hardware and software. So it describes the sensors which can be deployed for a number of home automation and applications. So an implementation of home premise institution circuits and uh, embedded sensor devices software which needs a high computing power for intrusion detection. So it uses a Raspberry Pi 2 model B plus which can be deployed due to high computing power. So implementation of home premise lightning and appliances embedded sensor devices uh, which needs a software uh, for computing power for uh, lighting automation and Arduino or Raspberry Pi boards can be deployed. So open hub which can be used for end to end solutions for smart home applications and services. So Eclipse IoT stack based and end to end IoT solutions with Java and OSDI and then a developer can code using Eclipse stack components for abstractions, softwares and gateway software in embedded sensors and devices. So sample projects can be uh, obtained with, uh, in a given GitHub link. So, so far we have seen the home automation using IoT and then internet connected smart home services and monitoring and then uh, architecture cloud based on the magic IoT platform for smart home and then smart home devices development and deploying using a open source software that is open app so, and then architecture layers in open app development environment and then uh, their repository and smart home application using open source cloud platforms and services. So and then we have seen the design steps and then abstraction reference model and identifying requirements of devices and gateway domains and identifying requirements of network subdomains. So, yeah, we have seen the data flow diagram for home automation system. So thank you for watching.